anything we can do to decrease the possibility of one of our athletes getting a concussion on our field, you know, that's why we put the E-layer in. That is one of the main reasons the safety issue was the reason we went with the E-layer. What you see now, it's, it's, it's rather funny, a couple of our uh, colleagues came out, my colleagues came out today and asked me if the gray gravel that you can see on the field right now, if that was the pad, if that was the E-layer. It looks so flat and so perfect that it was hard for them to believe that it's just gravel. It's the fine gravel that they put over the larger gravel, all for drainage and to make a perfect field. It looks absolutely perfect right now, perfectly flat perfect for the e-layer to be put over the top of. So what they're doing right now is they're adding, putting a down or almost like paving the e-layer. The e-layer or pad as they call it is a mixture of pea gravel, rubber and polyurethane that's all bound together. It's about, you know, between three quarters of an inch and an inch thick. And what that does is give a very uniform, flat, plain surface for the turf to be laid on, plus adding a considerable cushion to the field, making it much safer to play on. First and foremost, athlete safety. I mean, you know, use the concussions have been on the rise over the last few years, and both in uh, football and soccer and so what we are really looking for is having a field that's the most playable safe field possible. GMAX is a well-established United States test that's been used for many years to measure the force of impact that occurs when an athlete's head strikes the playing surface. In a typical field uh, without a pad or an e-layer as they're laying right now would be the GMAX would be about 120 or 125, higher being not as good as, as lower, a lower number is better. So for example, if a field measured had a G-Max of 200, they would close the field and say it was unplayable because it's too hard. The test is based on a 20 square inch flat missile with a mass of 20 pounds dropped from a specified height. The deceleration of the plate is measured as it hits the playing surface and the maximum deceleration recorded in gravities, the G-Max. With the E-layer, we should be looking for a G-Max between 88 and 92, under 100, which is very, very good, very soft, very playable, but not so soft that it's hard to run on and not a fast field in terms of playability. So it's a very playable field, but a very safe field due to the E-layer. 